Right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Oh, this is passing through. Excuse me. to look forward to when we get back to the States. Could be worse. Could be our Stotska. Who? Don't even remind me. Sorry. Fine, fine. Here. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. <laughs> hey there, little guy. How you doing? Hey, you like that? Huh? Nate. Tower. It's solid. Come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! Hey! He stole my apple! Can't trust anyone these days. Hey, you know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get a dog. Hey, if we come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> sure. Hey, Nate. Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. So. window over there is broken. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. <sighs> I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <sighs> okay, let's see what we got. <clears throat> wow. This place is in much better shape than the other towers. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. This is a very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Pitch 
Adventure. <laughs> the Zodiac Sons. Look, there's Leo. Ah, Taurus. Four signs. Uh, four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. Right back. Okay. Oh boy. I'll be damned. Check it out, Sully. The clock still works. Yeah, I noticed. I try not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? Little no. 
cautious here. Okay. Got it. Hey, Sully, any word from Sam? Yeah, he's probably fine. He just forgot to charge his phone. <laughs> Fun. There you are. practically see my house from up here. Go, go, go. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? <laughs> Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my tower. I, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? There are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Okay. Should we go look? Yeah, just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Oh, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Hmm. It's all right. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, hey, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by... Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. That's, um, they are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. We're 
Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. Sully, say cheese. Nate, come on. Come on, say cheese. <sighs> cheese. <laughs> There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Uh -huh. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. <sighs> Straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. There. here uh you know i'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff no i i do i just want to make sure sam knows you know because he likes to feel useful that's all aha uh -huh. of course shit what happened here a uh, torch probably fell or something come on let's see what's left i don't recognize this guy looks a lot younger than the other pirates That's one. Ooh, Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks 
Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Edward England. Stout little fellow. And four. All right, I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know. That kind of looks huh. like... What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Pro Deus quod licentia. No, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Oh, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quod licentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it 
it's gonna be. Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. All right, you gotta find some place to hide. Oh, Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. That's Sam's Tower. Well, it's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. 